Hello, welcome to Jesse Goes Zoom. I am Jesse, and I'm working my way through the Midnight Masquerade event right now, and I'm on a mission to clear 260 my zooms in one play. So I've had some unsuccessful attempts. You can see the last time I tried, I got 180 out of 260, which is not close at all, especially in a game like this. So I'm going to try and complete it with a charm zoom this time. So you might be familiar with charm zooms. You might have seen my rugby Mickey uh, video on that. And what the charm is, is the character comes with an additional playing piece that counts towards their my zooms. So in this case of Belle, the extra playing piece is going to be that little book you see next to her in the image. And what this does is instead of having five individual zooms on the screen during gameplay, you're only gonna have four because two of them are gonna count towards your my zooms. So I'm gonna play a game with her right now and to just make sure that I complete this mission no matter what, I'm gonna add the five four. She tends to get pretty good coins, so I'm gonna get a little coin boost to see if I can make back some of that money I'm spending on the five four. And just for the hell of it, I'm going to add this extra time ticket. Um, 260 my zooms in one play is a lot. You know, I threw a lot of stuff at it my last game. I threw the 5-4 at it, and you can see I only got 180. But with the charm zoom, since I have double the amount of zooms that are counting towards the my zoom, I think this is going to be much more successful. So let's see how it goes. If you haven't played with the bell charm zoom, she's a lot of fun. She loads pretty quickly, I would say. You can see her counter is already almost full. And then she clears a section of the screen, leaving behind a score bubble. Um, if you look at the screen now, look, it only looks like there's three different kinds of zooms, right? There's the white cat, there's the blue fish, and then there's the brown zooms. Um, but in reality, there's technically four different ones, right? The book and bell are technically individual, but they count towards the same purpose. But Either way, it has less zooms on the screen. I'm getting more of her way more quickly. I'm able to activate way more quickly. Um, I'm not gonna do all my usual kind of things. Like, you know, I'm not necessarily gonna wait for the screen to fill entirely before I activate her skills uh, because I'm just gonna try and keep <laughs> clearing as quickly as possible. You can see I'm at 107 right now. That's less than halfway through and We've got only half of the game left. Um, so I'm just gonna keep working as fast as I can. I am distracting myself by talking, but that's my problem, not yours. So I am gonna try and maybe if I can time it well, you know, I wanna save some of my fever times um, or save some of my skill activations until the times when I'm not in a fever time because that will Give me a fever time it'll add those five extra seconds to the clock you know sometimes that really is strategy if i had just you know well there i guess if i had just held off on activating my skill i would have already um right here like started another fever time i get to add the extra five seconds to the clock so that is definitely a part of the gameplay strategy um for any game but particularly this this one where i have like a specific limit i'm trying to reach um, right now, like it's not looking like I'm going to get there, but look, I got to activate that extra fever. So that's perfect. And oh my gosh, I did it. <laughs> I really did not know if I was going to make it. You guys, that was a close call. Wow. That came down to the wire. Like if I hadn't gotten some of those extra fever times, honestly, there's no way I would have completed this challenge. So that's definitely something to keep in mind with gameplay for strategy, especially something like this with my zooms. Um, you want to time those skill activations. The skill activation is, in this case, going to clear a lot of zooms off the screen. And usually, I can't remember how many lives or how many zooms you need to fill up the fever time meter, but usually one skill activation plus maybe a bubble plus maybe a small chain afterwards is going to activate that and then you get that five extra seconds on the screen so again timing it for when you're on regular gameplay is going to just give you continual boost towards um, extra time and banking more of these zooms so i got 286 there is no character bonus for this character and i only needed 260 and honestly like 286 26 over is not that many over especially with 
five seconds left in the game when I still was missing five of them, you know, so that was <laughs> exhilarating and I'm grateful that it's done and thanks for joining me.